Oh, Hannah. No matter how many updates it goes, no matter how long I disappear off YouTube, one thing will never change. That you are indeed best microwave waifu. But uh, I have to leave you now because unfortunately there's a video to do. Anyway, hello everybody. Uh, on today's video, I phase through a telephone box. Edgy Dave's twin pops in for a visit. And we embark on one of mankind's greatest mysteries left untold. Can Rock'em Sock'em Randy climb a flight of stairs? All of that and more, as per usual, to hopefully show up in the video, assuming funny stuff happens, which, uh, again, I hope so. We, we just, we do, we do this these days and just, you know, hope and beg that something funny's gonna happen for those intros. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, we're playing more Dave.exe again, in case you didn't know. Uh, <laughs> we literally, I, I've literally just finished off the previous episode, and while I was looking for feedback and such, like, I'm gonna take that and improve the next video, I also decide I'm having a lot, I'm just having too much fun right now, and uh, I want to jump back in and play some more of this, and hopefully find out some of the other content that we're missing in video format. We still have one other Dracula's Castle enemy to face off against, that is Chef Praunos. Uh, we have the first, and also Dr. Dungy to bump into, and we still got, I think only one more county map left, it's, uh, it's the outside area, I think. I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, uh, what's it? Duality Ed- Oh, for God's sake. Already, already going really ham with this. Who have we got? Um, I mean, there's a good chance it might be a character we haven't seen yet. I think I see one over there, but I don't know who it is. Um, what's that music? That's new. Is that maybe... It's a bit difficult to work on because obviously these are edge-corrupted characters, so their like, chase themes and such are also tuned down and edgified, so... Trying to work out who they are. Okay, it's two copies of... Uh... <laughs> Alright, I don't know if that's supposed to be a thing, that might be a bug, but hey, there's... Oh god. There are... Oh my god, they are both up here. What the hell? You were literally downstairs a second ago. And also, I'm running down the going up escalator, which is not what you want to do. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I I don't know if you're meant to go against two of the same. I think there is... I think... I guess technically you can. It's just that it's a very, very low chance. But unfortunately, in the world of me, I make the impossible happen. So, yeah. That... Oh god. That was... Uh, whew. Man, what a way to begin this video, huh? Oh, that's amazing. Hmm. I love it how I start with two enemies, which I still have no idea how they work. They go invisible, and they're very, very fast now. Oh, it's just absolutely brilliant. Absolutely smashing, lad. And we are literally only three minutes into this video. So, yeah, this is, uh, is going to go wonderfully. I can already see it. Uh, no I'm Rai this time, so that curse has immediately been left. Maybe so I just got my ass handed to me. Maybe she she only watches people who can hold who can hold their own weight. And unfortunately, I kinda suck. So uh yeah, she doesn't take want to stay around for that. I has um standards. And I am I ain't taking any of the boxes yet. I'm just this limbless man with a cane and uh <laughs> didn't properly get dressed, just put on some cool shades and uh, went out the door. Alright, back to this map again. It's a shame you can't, like, choose specific maps, uh, but I don't know. Like, there's probably a le there's a limit of control um, to being able to select some of these things. I think the game does still kind of need. Um, I mean, considering the fact that I've said in the past, like, when Strange Terror from the Deep came out, and I was like, the problem with that game is that it was just too open. You could do practically anything you wanted in that game. Um, you could just go straight into, like, the uh, creative mode or whatever it was called. And you could just select um, whatever character you wanted to go against and that stuff. And I was like, you know, that's cool and all, but you probably should have like had to up like uh, upload that. You should have had to like unlock that. But again, this was a uh, like a much earlier stage of uh, Dave Microwave's game stuff. And hey, look, the guy has come very very far. So yeah. Also, what is it about this map and like random events? I really I don't get it. This game just really likes to push random events on me. Uh, right. So this should be... I think it's the Taker, if I'm not mistaken. And the Taker's not too bad. 
he's definitely like in comparison to a lot of these enemies which are like specific with a event taker is probably one of the tamer ones personally like don't get me wrong he'd still be an absolute nightmare to deal with right like very much so but i i like that he is firstly quite slow um and secondly he doesn't have like a filter to this where it just makes me want to vomit and die which uh i kind of get with the timeline demon uh, i i cannot play against the timeline demon with the fact that you could barely see anything so yeah you know there's a big stuff up in there over there oh oh hello all right let's get the hell out of there okay dude that he just blends in this background Definitely is one of the better maps to go against him, though. F for him, of course, not me. Oh, cool. He just he got bored. Oh, now he's not bored anymore. Cool. Don't you love it how Dave Microwave's enemies' vision works? They just get bored, and then they're like, oh, yeah, sorry. He just takes a moment to go like, oh, I've left the gas on, and then right back to it again. All right, I need my roll back soon. Please. Cut some corners. Here. Okay, this should be a decent bit to lose him. Yeah, I think so. Right, um, should be a vending machine over here. That's all good. Okay. So I almost got the red one. Not entirely. Uh, we got the red one to get. We've got. Um, oh, Jesus. Oh, hello, sir. Just gonna very quickly leave there. Don't mind me. Gonna roll down this way. Try and remember where the red vending machine is. This is a really big map, by the way. Like, holy hell, it's a it's a pretty big, big chunker. Definitely feels like it. Uh, this also could be a bit tricky because he actually knows where I am. We're not dealing with tough AI in this one, of course. This is just I know where you are at all times, character. Uh, so while I'm sure we could still duke him on these uh, little drop down places, he's gonna—he's not gonna leave the area. He's gonna—he's gonna make sure he comes straight to us. So we've probably got to wait and duke him. I'd say that's okay. It just means there's more time of me standing here doing absolutely nothing, and yet resisting the urge to probably look at this in the editing and be like, "Damn, I should really edit this because you know it's like boring." But I'm like, oh, the point is not to edit it. The point is you are entertaining enough to not need to edit. So why would you even think of that idea? No, you're just damn, damn incredible to listen to and very, very talented at what you do to the point that you can literally sit there in silence and people will applause. So yeah. Uh, anyway, let's do this. Oh God, I didn't think this through. Oh God, it's all God to titch. Uh, right. I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna drop down. Oh, Jesus, that was a really bad decision. Okay, in hindsight, probably wasn't a good idea. <laughs> there was a, a bit of shortcoming with that plan. Okay. It's alright, we'll learn for next time. Every loss is a small win, they say. And I'm totally not saying that to cover up my loss. Absolutely not. No, it's t it's a proper phrase for everybody in their in their mother. Because, you know, things happen in life. It's important. You get back up. And you give it another shot. Which, granted, yeah, is, that is like a true a true message for life. If, if you're ever feeling down, remember, it was just one day. There's another day right around the corner. You're all chocked full of potential, a lot of you. And you're going places, so, uh, you know, keep at it, people. No matter what you're going for right now, no matter what you're watching this video for, I hope you're enjoying it, and rock on. Right, let's see if we can get the fourth map. Yes! All right, good. Sweet. I can just very confidently now check off that marker. Bear County has been clenched, and every map has been played. This is a very good sign. Okay. So, we've literally just got... We, we've got two more characters from this update to go against. And then we've got all of the Dracula's Castle stuff to look at. And then we'll be all good. I'll be hip and relevant again. I wonder if people in the comments are like, Oh, when are you going to do a video showcasing the Dracula's Castle update? And I'll be like, oh, well, I, I, I can't. 
because the game has gone so far now and I can't go against those characters and it's out of date and I'm out of date. I'm so washed up, you know. We don't have to worry about that anymore, which is great. Immediately, I'm going to go over here because there's a very important message to be spread to everybody. I did see this yesterday, so I thought I'd remind everybody. <clears throat> Hashtag Hannah Best Microwave Waifu, and you know that is the case because it's in the bottom left corner of my stream overlay. And uh, there's also a really pretty little gift there, uh, the initial image made by a uh, fellow fan of mine and a really talented artist, Misty Sterling, uh, who drew that in a part of a art trade. And I love it. I think it looks awesome. Uh, they, they did give me full permission to make it the little pet pet emoji, or whatever you call it. So, huge shout out to them. I'll have to put their uh, Twitter in the description for anybody who wants to go and see the other works they do. Because, again, they make some pretty cool stuff. And who knows, maybe all this Hannah Best Microwave Waifu uh, supremacy might generate more creative ideas. That'd be cool. We could, we could start a renaissance. We could start. We could start a cult, a literal cult of Hannah, and I'll be the leader of it. There you go. <laughs> cult of the land. No, it's cult of the hand. That's that's the true game you want to play. That's the real gamers game. Cult of the hand, starring myself, and everybody else who has made the wise decision to vote Hannah as best microwave waifu. Hey, again, if you vote Pumpkin or friggin' Money Chan or maybe even Dave himself, you know, I respect your decision. Unfortunately, you're incorrect, but I respect it regardless. <laughs> you know, you unfortunately have not seen the light yet. Maybe from watching these videos, you shall see the light and you shall give in and <laughs> reject these pumpkin and money chan ways. Also, yeah, I did hear the treadmills. We're dealing with our old pal Randy. Oh, hello. Hang on. This is a good, a good test of strength. Can Randy go upstairs? Randy? Yeah, you see, he's scared of stairs. He's like, oh, fuck stairs. My only weakness. All right, come, Randy. Oh, good, he go upstairs. He can go upstairs. Okay, that didn't work. But maybe he can't go downstairs. Yes. This is his weakness. He can go upstairs, but he can't go down the stairs. Just for a quick, uh, like, uh, proper notice, though. You know, avoiding any bits and anything. That was a generally very stupid idea of me, and I apologize for anyone who found that very bad to look at. I completely understand you. But this is also just the content you should expect these days. I will do something, and I will do it as a completely stupid imbecile, because that's what I pride myself on. It's not about playing seriously, it's about having a jolly good time and making people laugh, you know? Where the hell am I going? <laughs> Um, I think there should be a vending machine around here somewhere. Oh god, that's uh, not a good sign. Uh, maybe I should hide behind here. It's okay, he won't see me. Nothing, nothing in my character pops out. It's okay. Randy has no idea. He, he didn't notice there was a, a bin that had a hat on. No idea whatsoever, because he's stupid. It's fine. Let's see. Oh, there's one in here. In the in the old garbage TVs and the new cooler TV section. It's where you find a vending machine, apparently. And some more vending machines. Yeah, I'm I'm just as lost as everybody else. I don't understand what the uh the appeal is. Doesn't feel like the relevant shot, but you know. Edgy Dave is an interesting man. I I think that's the light way of putting it. So yeah, I guess just not to question it would be the smartest thing to do. For all of our sanity. Alright. Now where's the four, uh, the fifth one? It's the red one. So it's probably going to be in the middle of the map somewhere. So we should go and uh, retrace our steps. And uh, see where we go. Oh, also, another thing I forgot to mention. Brand new animations for Dave. Dave actually, like, he almost stumbles a bit now and he runs. Which is a really cool detail. Uh, oh, hello. Oh. Speaking of, I forgot. It's the uh, the little pizzeria place from Doom in the Roomy. Ah, oh, dude. It's really cool finally seeing Doom in the Roomy stuff in uh, Dave.exe. Again, for anybody who hasn't played Doom in the Roomy, if you can play Dave.exe, you can play Doom in the Roomy. So for the love of God, go please play Doom in the Roomy because, oh my God, that game got overshadowed so horribly. 
And it's a shame because it's like still easily my favorite Dave game in existence. Like Dave.exe's recent updates have like absolutely done a big number on it. And uh, like I've I've obviously been really enjoying them because heck I wouldn't be playing it as much if I hadn't been enjoying them, but yeah, like the point oh hello. Uh, I was hoping that you wouldn't be there. Then again, most of us do have that hope. Uh oh. Oh. Oh no. This is not where I want to be. It's okay. He won't be able to go underneath a barricade. Because he's too stubby and fat. I was totally talking about Dave and not, uh, not about Randy, of course. Uh, Randy, if you could, like, please go away. That would be most appreciated, because frankly, I'm so close to this and would hate to lose it all. Uh-oh. Randy, please. Randy, please. Oh god, he's got a gun! Mate, I'm dead. <laughs> Why are you trying to you're trying to speak to the dead? Oh, for God's sake. We were so close again. And yet I stumbled. Alright. Maybe this is a sign that I need to get myself some new cosmetics. I do have a lot of tickets now, so we can actually buy some of the new stuff. Which would be cool. I think that's a smart decision. Let's go and uh, check what we got. Oh, we've got the nice the nighttime segment. I do like this. It's honestly like the small things like this that I'm a real big fan of. Like, this obviously doesn't add much, but it's just nice seeing different settings, you know? It really is. Uh, find Eddie... Oh, Okay, fine. All right, fine. The guy just broke my kneecaps, but you know why not? Let's let's challenge him again. That sounds like a plan. All right, I'll tell you what, I have the perfect cosmetic to uh, circumvent this uh, this occasion. Let me let me just take a look and see if I can find it. I think it might be accessories. Uh, there it is, the useless. W oh, I'm uh, I'm poor, <gasps> but I could go gamble. Yes, that's a smart decision. When you're one ticket off, I could literally just run into a timeline. I can also apparently glitch through a telephone box. That's that's cool. I didn't realize that was a thing. How the hell did I do that? By the what? So I'm still in this space because I just I I I don't know. I have no idea. I just apparently had the ability to face through a telephone box. I mean, it's not like a, a game-breaking issue or anything, but I also couldn't replicate it, so I'm a little bit freaked out why that's the case, but... Alright. Let's just go over here, let's gamble and just for a few tickets, and then we'll be on our merry way. Gets a 2 in 4 chance, either getting my money back, and more, or getting a ticket, so... What did they just say? Or whatever. Scrap me useless to me anyway. <laughs> I, I can work out some of my lines, but there's still some of them I'm just like, what the hell did I say? Oh, damn. <laughs> Come on. Give me the purple or the pink. No, that's my money back. <gasps> Not my precious booty. Not my precious booty. Scrap. Come on. Give me the, the pink one. That's more scrap. And choose this to me as well, mate. I've got so much of it. Yay! Thank you. Alright. Okay, I'm getting out. Alright. I'm a thieving rascal and I ain't afraid to I ain't afraid to acknowledge it. Let's just go back and buy some cosmetics. Uh, if I can hit the thing. That hitbox seems to be very, very specific regarding the phone. Oh, boy. Maybe the next update, Dave will get that sorted. It's the phone box update, making it so you can't phase through like a ghost if you are... I, I, I don't know what the stipulations are for me doing it. Also, hi, I. Again. It's literally, like, three times in about half an hour that she's popped up. Like, I think that... I don't know how rare that's meant to be, but there's a lot of events that can pop up, so... The, to have got it so many times is crazy, but anyway, ta-da! <laughs> Brilliant. Dave has gone through so many timelines, and now he has had his kneecaps broken. <laughs> and with his kneecaps broken, Dave decided enough is enough. It's time for revenge. So that's what he sought to do. Also, yeah, by the way, this is literally, literally the wheels are the legs, and he's just got a pair of legs just sitting at the top. 
I love it so much. It, it's like those, um... Oh, it's like those inflatable, like, um... Oh god, what's the uh, what's the best way to describe it? It's like those inflatable ride costume things, you know, where like your your back your actual legs are in the back legs of it, and then you have got like the front of it that you just sort of hold on to, like a horse or something. It's like one of those. Oh yeah, I forgot this is the thing. Yeah, what a wedge. Uh, hang on a minute. Um, uh, game. Uh, wait, did I did I get auto wedge? And auto wedge? Wait. I'm very confused. Alright, well, I reckon he spawns over there somewhere, so I'ma just, like, go in the opposite direction to that. And, uh, just, uh, you know, grab some of these vending machines before I end up finding out that I've ended up bugging up the game even more. Uh, because, yeah, uh, two edgy days spawning isn't exactly meant to be a thing. I'm sure most people could probably figure that out. Uh, there was actually a bug fix to the uh, the recent to do this update because I found a bug in it where you could disable a propaganda tower and wait a certain amount of time and you would still yep there's two of them great the bugs still exist and and Sveeves here as well oh, it's just mm. yeah it's, God if I needed anything else to make this better the, the friggin spider does a lot. I don't think there's any way I'm going to lose Sveev in this is the problem. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to... Tell you what, you ain't going to take me alive! Oh, damn, I couldn't even get my... <laughs> couldn't even go out my own way. Damn, I played in the wheelchair, probably. Uh, anyway, uh, Dave, you're watching this. Uh, I've, I've broken the game again, and the uh, mobile Wedgie Daves are spawning once more. So, yeah... I don't know what it is about me and Edgy Day specifically in breaking him, but, you know, uh, you're welcome, I guess. I, please don't hurt me, Dave. I don't understand why I keep doing this. I don't intend to break the games, especially around Edgy Dave and him spawning multiple times, but it just, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, frankly, mate. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, so I found a bug in the original build when Dracula's Castle came out. Uh, I could get the I can get the funny mode. Where is it? Funny mode, funny mode. Yes, Speedy Gonzalez mode. Best mode in the game. We need more like Speedy Gonzalez. Oh boy, we need a lot more like Speedy Gonzalez because this one is just amazing. Big big fan of Speedy Gonzalez. Was I not moving anymore? Oh no, my model is still moving. I was I was worried that I was kind of becoming static all of a sudden. Uh, anyway, so we've played all the Bear County maps. Let's play a few Dracula's Castle maps now. Because uh, we still haven't shown out any of those. We actually haven't got a single Dracula's Castle map since we uh, even did the last video, I don't think. So, yeah, quite important to do so. Also, yeah, sorry, I completely got sidetracked. Yeah, basically, I found out that disabling the propaganda tower in at least one of the Dracula's Castle maps, it was the garden map, it um, caused the initial edgy day of the spawn, because obviously I turned off the propaganda tower and he always spawns when you do that. Uh, but also, it uh, made the other one spawn later on, because I, I think the reason why is because turning off the propaganda tower in those maps specifically... Oh, hello! Hello, Globe Guards. I actually don't know if I've uh, encountered you yet in the uh, video format, so... Good job, guys! You're doing a great job for my YouTube content! He's like, yes, they haven't seen this yet. Brilliant. Um, so, just gotta... There you go. Lead him away. This is actually quite good, though. Um, the big thing about the Glob... The, uh, I can't keep going. Is it Glob Guards or Blob Guards? I think it's Glob Guards. Um, the big benefit with these guys is that while there's three of them... Scratch out, I think there's four of them. Um, the benefit is that Edgy Dave doesn't spawn when they're active. So, at the very least, uh, we do... Oh, God, hello. At the very least, uh, we can do... Also, we can do a funny. Watch this. Okay. And I'm just going to roll down. Boop. <laughs> and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we initially have two less Globe Guards to deal with out of the possible four, which is great because the placement of that is just so incredibly stupid. And I'm glad that when Dave like updated this, he didn't take that out. So, <laughs> I mean, honestly, it, it requires a lot of work and only works against specific enemies. 
It works with those guys because they're really, really slow. Um, but yeah, like, oh hello. God, he was very high pitched. I do forget that these guys actually are unique enemies. Like, th they're not just copy and paste. Well, they are, essentially, but at least regarding, like, their vocals and such, uh, they actually have different voice lines. Like, there's, uh, they've all got different names, and I think they have, like, little different speech pans and such. And maybe slightly different cosmetics? I'm not too sure what they are, but I do, I do know they're meant to be somewhat, like, different. But I don't know. I don't ask Padre on that one. Oh, hello! I mean, that guy just sounds like a freaking dolphin, especially with this, uh, this mode on, so... Yeah, um... Definitely didn't sound like the same for the other two. Right, so let's grab this one here. So yeah, there are four of them. So two of them are still walking about, but the other two have been uh, blocked off by the power of mahogany, mahogany, uh, and have now you know they will forever slumber in there until they eventually starve to death, probably, and uh, are never seen again. Rest in pepperones, uh, those two glob guards, which I can't remember the names of. Uh, but, you know, we knew them for, like, a few minutes. <laughs> In fact, it's even less time because it was also sped up, so... Oh. Oh, God! I, uh, was hoping that was going to be an area for me to run around there, but that didn't seem to be the case. Uh, let's just go and grab this red vending machine while it's here. Uh, so which one am I missing? I think it might be one down the corridor. I say it like everybody knows exactly where I'm on about, considering there's a lot of corridors in this map, but uh trust me, I think I think I have an idea. I think it's this way, to the left, and then it's to the right. And I believe that is the direction of the vending machine. Here we go, and a ticket as well. Just for good measures. You know, just in case putting Dave in a wheelchair wasn't enough, uh, we gotta find something else stupid to put him in. We <laughs> literally just... You can still just see them glitching out down there. Oh, there's also the axe. Oh, God! Uh, did I also forget to mention that they have tougher AI? I don't think I mentioned that, but yeah, yeah, they, they have that AI that makes it so they, like, patrol areas that you're close to. And uh, I'm not saying that was the reason, but I'm also not, you know, I'm not saying that it, it wasn't. Anyway, uh, I can't get words right. Uh, yeah, that was unfortunate. But I guess it treats it teaches me to uh, not make fun of the gl the, the blob guards, globe guards, whatever they're called. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's another quest fails. <laughs> Jeez, can I actually get a quest done in any of these episodes? Right, let's see what you got. Um, oh god, the bone party. Oh Jesus. I mean, it's not the fluff minigame at the very least, so, you know, I don't have that fear, but it still follows the, the same structure. Uh, right, let me see what I can get. Evil Mustache, Micro Clock, uh, Wear Walmart. Uh, let's go with the Wear Walmart one, because cheese. There we go. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, poor Walmart. I, I actually think I, I think Padre did mention that was literally the Iron Dogfish model, just maybe retextured. I might I might be wrong of that. Please, for the love of God, do not take what I just said as gospel. I might very much be wrong, but I know he mentioned Iron Dogfish, but it may have been as a one-off joke. And I'm literally back to the exact same map we just played on because goddamn screw vi vi variety variety is what I meant to say. Did I tell you it's almost one o'clock in the morning? <laughs> that I'm recording these videos. Right. So, uh, we haven't got any funny speedy mode anymore, which sucks. I still think that should just be how the game is naturally. The game should just be that, that, that quick naturally. I think it would be a really smart idea, personally. I think you get a lot more people engaged. Dave, you might not like the truth, but I'm, I'm telling you, the truth is saying you're right in the face. Oh my god, they're literally back again. Screw I tell you what, no, no, no. I tell you what we're doing. We are going to get... I'm going to try and get all four of them trapped. I really want to try and see if I can get all four of them, like, stuck. Oh, God, this guy was still following me? He was, like, behind, like, two or three walls, and yet he still was after me. Okay. Fair enough. Um... Okay, so let's anger... Oh, God. Why? I don't... I... 
Another thing I need to think about is actually, like, thinking about these situations ahead of time and not putting myself in impossible situations until i thought about what to do. That's another big problem I have. I, I, I kind of, like, I was trying to think how to get around that, and instead of going in a way that was away from that, I went straight in there like an absolute moron. So, yeah, go figures. Um, right. Just getting a lot of these bones. Um, where's the other one? Okay, so there was the, the vending machine down the end of that corridor that we tried grabbing in the, the last part. This one down here, literally. So, if I can anger this guy, there we go. That's all cool. So there's just the, uh, the one up there I need to get the attention of now. We can literally go ahead and do this. We can actually pull off this stunt. See if I can get them all trapped inside that one corridor. And obviously there's one at the end of said corridor as well. So he's already in position. I just need to anger him. Oh god! I have got the right facial expression on for all this screaming and terror and such. But it's okay. These guys are right on my tail. Excuse me. Oh, for god's sake. I need to anger him. And he gets attention. Uh, I'm just going to go from here. There you go. Oh, I've got only one followed me. Um, right. Come on. It didn't work! Oh god, I forgot they got the thickest hitboxes imaginable! Even before they've hit you with the fork, you've been hit by it. That doesn't even make sense when I say it, but you know what I mean. You're dead before they even like have the animation play where they hit you. But hey, at least Walmart doesn't feel too bad about it. Walmart seems... <laughs> Walmart seems perfectly happy about it. That's his. It's his cool. Oh, I literally forgot that. That's not Walmart. That's meant to be. Well, well so I'm thinking of the the Gromit character. That's Grovel. Uh, but I guess that is. I'm literally just as Walmart, but he's been werewolf fight. I guess. Does this mean Dave's a furry? I don't know. <laughs> you know, just just random thoughts at uh, one o'clock in the morning. You know how it goes. Uh, I'm going to cancel the quest. I have cancelled so many of these quests, by the way. Oh, my lord. <laughs> it's like, oh, I wonder why I'm not finishing any of these quests. Oh, maybe it's because I keep terminating them before I even get a chance to try and go for it. Look, it's not my fault that I keep getting such terrible quests, all right? Get any form of collector font quest, everyone should know who's seen my previous uh, episodes is essentially it's a way to trigger some really bad PTSD because there was an entire video dedicated to one of those quests. I'm also playing Wolver's Den again because there's apparent apparently no other maps exist in Dracula's Castle. This is the only map we got. <laughs> this is the reason I didn't do a video because <laughs> this is apparently the only map that exists. Now the question is, is it going to be the Glorb Guards again? Or are we actually going to get someone else? Oh, hello. That's Ed... <laughs> it's Edgy Lanky Lanky. Brilliant. Alright, uh, so... At least not the Glorb Guards. I can go straight for a vending machine. Edgy Lanky. <laughs> Jesus. If you couldn't understand the Lankies to begin with, uh, this, this uh, event doesn't really help out with that. All right. So, grab all these vending machines. Can I lock them in? Probably not, because they are also faster. Is the other thing to consider. <laughs> it's just like, it's this is. I could just make a series about this. Will it be locked in the between the bookshelves? Let's find out. As I dedicate a whole series to working out if any of these enemies can be trapped. Nah. We won't do that. <laughs> Sorry if I got anybody excited. No. Okay, we'll try and do it if we can, but uh, God, making a series about it entirely? No. I've got so many things to do, sites to see, other videos to record, and frankly, ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, hello. Oh, God, you can barely hear his chase music. <laughs> Why does Lonky Lanky sound higher pitched than he did before? The point of it is they're meant to go, like, deeper pitched, but he sounds even higher pitched. Or maybe it's because he was higher pitched anyways, and now it just kind of, like... <laughs> now he's sort of more towards a, a regular pitch. 
I don't know. Bitch. Are they already here? Uh oh. Donkey Yankee. <laughs> Dude, I love like deep voice lanky lanky. Lanky bums away. Oh boy. Right. Um. There's one down here. I remember this, and then the other one is at the end of that bookshelf corridor, which I was. Uh, very horribly cast out from because the lanky lanky pair decided to uh, be down in that general direction, which is absolutely uh, horrible. Can't have that. All right. What is it with this video in duos, by the way? We've got edgy lanky lanky. We've had two edgy Dave spawn, and we've had two of the edgy Twilight spawn, and like. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just being a bit, like... I'm maybe looking a bit too far into this, but... I, I'm sensing a pattern. I, may, I might be going crazy. I don't know, but it, it's just... It makes a lot of sense. There's been quite a theme going on. Could it be coincidence? You know, like, once is a coincidence. Maybe even twice. But three times? I don't know. Three times feels like a pattern. Alright. It's, uh, it's back up and actually get this last vending machine and we can get out of there. Poor Dave's been through a lot. He's become a, a werewolf crossed with a man who has a big obsession of cheese and is a demon. And he's also in a wheelchair. This guy, yeah, he just wants to go to bed. <laughs> oh boy, poor Dave. <laughs> oh, back in my day I used to make so many Patreon games. That's cool, but Dave, let's get you the bed. <laughs> right. Ooh, do I grab the boxy? That's a good question. We haven't shown off the boxy yet. Uh, guys, we literally... I literally just got better. You guys went in the opposite direction and you're already back. What the bloody hell? Alright, tell you what. Let's see if we can do it. Oh god, this could be a problem. Is he gonna chuck him? You. Oh god! Go, 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 go. Quickly! Quickly do it! I did it! <laughs> we trapped the long keys! The edgy long keys, mind you. Wow, I can't believe we did that. Granted, it, I, I, I think it helps um it helps that they have an animation where he drops um he drops uh Lonky Lanky. So I think that might have been the uh, the deciding factor, the fact he drops him. If it wasn't for that, then uh, we would have uh, probably had no chance of doing that. So, hey, thank you, edgy, lonky, lanky, lonky. Yeah, that's totally what the name is uh, for making that possible. Uh, also, I don't know where I'm going. I think I'm going down the wrong corridor, but unfortunately, I can't really see very well because some asshole turned off the lights. Uh, right. So, I think it's down here to the left. Is it? Oh, is it down there? No. Oh, hang on. It might be down there. Oh, God. I've got to be quick here because Brink of Ruin's active. So if I'm too slow, I'm going to get killed by the moon. In this case, the uh, the asshole that is Edgy Day's face. You know, just the shorter way of putting it. Hi, Barry. Where is he? Oh, doesn't matter. Huh. We're escaping. No Yay! All right. Well, that was a uh, was a pretty good round. We we trapped the uh, the elusive, edgy lanky lanky and lanky lanky, inside the parameters of some mahogany bookshelves. Once again, proving the power that mahogany holds, and has <laughs> its power to bend the universes itself. Um, but also, we managed to get out of the boxy, which is cool. Uh, but yeah, the boxy for anyone who doesn't know, you grab it. It causes a bunch of stuff to happen. Uh, it causes, like, I think Fear of the Fog is what it's called. Where everything gets, like, super dark. It also triggers Brink of Ruin, which is when the edgy Dave Majora's Mask reference uh, pops down. And also causes Jump Scare, Simulation, and Auto Edge. So, uh, yeah. Hello, sir. Can can I help you? Okay. Uh, let's see. Going to the... Uh, yeah, okay. Survival. Yeah, I'm really good at not dying in this game. We've had a whole video so far where I've done nothing but survive. Right? 
Let's tell you what happened, right? <laughs> yeah? Tell me I'm not crazy. Alright. Uh, let's give one more go. Let's see if we can get this quest done. And maybe we can hope and pray that we can get a brand new Dracula's Castle map and not Warrior's Den again. Oh, cool. We got the map in which I broke the game and made two Yeti Days spawn back in the previous version. Oh boy, it's like history is repeating itself. I'm just apparently so good at making Edgy Dave duplicate himself. Maybe, 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 just maybe, this is just story stuff. Maybe there is just two Edgy Daves. Maybe Edgy Dave has a twin brother. You never know. You, you never know how the Edge material works, okay? The Edge stuff works in very mysterious ways. I mean, heck, there were two uh, Twilights, two Edgy Twilights, in fact, in this one. So... Maybe, maybe this is just secret lore stuff that Dave, Dave told us there was no lore stuff in this update or anything to do with this, but it turns out the lore was in front of us the whole time. These constant, these weren't budge, these weren't bugs, nor were they features. It was plot points. <laughs> uh, right, let's go, I'm going away in that general direction because I saw that, uh, it's beans we got to deal with. So I'm just gonna go over here. And avoid that. Oh, this is also a really good option to test the uh, the scrap on the stairway on the other side. Uh, there was a for some reason there was an invisible piece of scrap you could pick up on the other side of the map. I don't understand why it was invisible, or if it was invisible, or if it's just like glitched in the floor. But uh, yeah, it was a thing, which was interesting. Uh, where is he? That's a bush. I don't know why I'm walking into bushes. I'm not paying any attention. Oh, hello, tree. Why is he jig? I could have swore he only does the jig when you're close to him. Oh god, what happens if I get close to him now? Hi, friend. Yeah, he exists. Uh, and he's cool. I like him, he's a cool dude. <laughs> he reminds me of, like, the inflatable tube mans. Or oh, men, I guess. Proper plural for it. Uh, right. Where is the beans man? Is he still inside the greenhouse? He's looking for beans! Probably. Um, nope, doesn't look like he's here. So I would try and turn off the propaganda tower to see if it still does it. But I don't know. Maybe if we get all the uh, the bedding machines, Eddie Day spawns naturally. Maybe we can give it a shot and see if the uh, the propaganda tower will uh, still spawn a second Eddie Day. Because clearly, despite the effort, I could still break the game and make two Eddie Days spawn when there shouldn't be. So yeah. Uh, okay, where is Beans with his balloon hat? Might be over here somewhere. Oh yeah, he literally is over there. Oh god. Uh oh. That's a wall. Or not even a wall, it's a tree. It's a plan. We have to capture you! I'm good. I'm cool, pal. Just uh, like stay away from my general direction and everything will be fine. Otherwise, I'll punch you in the nose. I don't, and believe me, I don't want to do it. I really don't want to do it, D Beans. You seem like a cool guy. But, you know, if, uh, if I'm threatened. <laughs> I mean, God, Dave, Dave's in a poor wheelchair these days. Like, this dude is just... This dude is, like, scared about anything. Right, hang on. Let me just hide behind the tree. Okay, now if you could just go away. Thank you, Beans. I love you, Beans, but also... You know, piss off. <laughs> I love you, Beans, but also, you know, go the hell away. Don't come back. At least take that ridiculous, stupid balloon cosmetic of yours off, and then we can talk like gentlemen. Alright, is the invisible scrap here? It isn't! Dave patched it! Alright, there's no invisible scrap anymore. That is... <laughs> Damn, Edgy Padre understands. There's the scraps gone. Holy shit! It's gone! Alright, let's get the soda, and then we will proceed to... We'll turn off the propaganda tower anyways, just because... Swag points, I guess. But also, I could use the money. I just gambled it all away for like free tickets. So, oh god, hello. Um, just gonna be nice and sneaky. Oh god, we got some more propaganda. Except this time, it's Barry doing it. Okay, don't turn around. 
Just don't turn around, Beans. Good, he's going to patrol down near the statues for the fourth million time. That's great. <laughs> oh, God. I love the propaganda so much. So much character in them. If we didn't need them, but I'm glad we got them. Let me get another one as well. Alright, there you go. Now we can turn off those propagandas and uh, go about our day. Oh, hello. Let me just uh, go and quickly open the gate. Don't mind me. Oh, that's a gun. It's okay. He's a very bad aim. Thank you. Bye. Didn't get to test out and see if you had a clone still, but that's okay. Because we clearly know the answer is yes. He just spawns in a different circumstance now. But hey, cool. And I actually got a quest. All right. Let's go hand this bad boy in. And then we can end the video, and we can end the episode, or whatever it's called. It's 45 minutes of you listening to a British moron from... Yeah, Britainland. <laughs> I, I got the wording completely wrong there, but it doesn't matter. Let's, uh, let's just go hand this back in. Then we can wrap up for tonight, and probably in general, because, uh, yeah, this is it's getting late. It's almost half one for me, and I'm quite tired, and i got work tomorrow. So, yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, this is the new thing he was on about. Oh, that's awesome. So, um, I did see in the patch notes that there was an update where you don't have to, like, there's a way to keep the quest, keep, like, recycling. So you don't have to leave the hub world and come back in again. So you literally, if you do a quest, they vanish, and then they just replace a new one. That's amazing. Um, oh, God, we could literally go and play another friggin' uh, Speedy Gonzales event. Is there any other events besides the one we experienced? I think... I don't think there is. I think it's all, like, old ones. Obviously, let's get Speeding his ass on there for the next time we come back and play this, just so we have it on, uh... Just so we have it ready, because, of course, hashtag Speedy Gonzales, best game mode. I'm creating too many of these hashtags. I really gotta stop. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode. That was uh, more showcase of Dave.exe, the uh, vampiric whatever it's called update let me let me just check the proper name actually I've, I've not been like specifying the name directly uh so this one the most up-to-date one is the otherworldly contracts update this is update number five uh and what a stellar update it's been so far by the way i've really been enjoying this update and uh hope you guys have as well and then the dracula's castle one which I don't know what it is, but it's going to require too much effort for me to go and find out. So it, it doesn't matter. It's the one that has Dracula's Castle stuff in. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for everybody watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed this. Like, favorite, subscribe, hit the bell. Check the links in the description for the Twitter and the YouTubes of the Twitch, whatever. I don't know what it is these days. It's a thing I do. Also, Patreon's down there and podcasts go up. And there's also ways to commission me on there too, in case you're interested. Any old contributions, much appreciated, but completely optional as always. Thank you so much, everybody, for your incredible and continuous support. And as always, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.